it's that time again hi everybody hi Pisces hope that you're doing well welcome to the channel if you're new and if you're one of my incredible subscribers thank you for being here if you're not please go ahead hit the button it's just below the video and get your energy going within the channel it's free I can't believe how much the channel has grown thank you guys so much honestly you're incredible almost up to 5,000 subs I'm thinking of, uh, I don't even know what to do. Maybe some bonus readings at 5,000 subs. Yeah. Anyways, Pisces, I will leave a comment below that explains how the channel works. That way, I don't have to bore you with a big intro. And just know their general messages will not resonate for everyone. Take what does, leave the rest. If none of it resonates, that's okay too. Just means it's not your message this time. All right, Spirit, what do we got for Pisces in love? What do we got for Pisces in love? I, I always start feeling it come down my arms, like the energy comes down my arms. Now I'm being told, okay. I'm feeling a sense of excitement to a degree. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to turn these right side up. Let's see what we got. You can switch the energies around for people. So I've got, I'm going to read this as you and this as the other person, but go ahead and switch it if you choose. All right. So we've got free yourself, getting to know each other, stay optimistic about your love life, children, and deception. Spirit, can you please tell me more about free yourself? Yeah. I feel like you've been in your mind a lot. Okay? You've been thinking a lot. You've been... I don't know if you're self-deceiving. I think it's self-deception and Pisces are good for that. And maybe you're deceiving yourself about how somebody feels about you and whether or not they actually like you um, the way that you like them. And I say that because you've got getting to know each other here. And I feel like you're going to be taking some action, which is awesome. It's like you're going to take that life force and you're going to get out of your head. And I feel like you're going to be saying something. Let's see about this getting to know each other, please. Getting to know each other, please, spirits. <gasps> yeah, look at that. You could be dealing with another water sign. Could be another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But look at this. This person is a romantic. They are somebody that idealizes love. They emphasize feelings. They concentrate say on the poetry of life um they can remember special occasions uh they can express sentiments beautifully so you may have a really good emotional bond in that aspect like maybe you're you find yourself able to talk to them about anything and everything and so it's just building this um bond i feel like they know that you're a little bit sensitive they're aware of you and your moods or your feelings um they may help you open up uh because maybe <laughs> with this self-deception here, you, you might keep, and Pisces are known for that, you, you'll hide it, right? Um, and you may not even know how you feel, like I said, because you're so outward focused on everybody else and how they're feeling and how they're doing that you don't even know that someone is tapping into your unconscious. <laughs> like, they can see beyond the uh, obvious. So it's almost like I get the sense that they know that there is something here, but yet... They want you to come out of your mind, <laughs> literally come out of your mind, open up a little bit, Pisces. And look at that. It could be somebody that you work with, but doesn't have to be. But I feel like this is somebody who wants to put the effort into getting to know you because this is the eight of pentacles. So this is somebody, as I was saying, this, this knight of cups is um, aware of moods and feelings of others. And they like to respond 
deeply to life, but they also understand pains of others. And so because of that, maybe this person is getting to know every little piece of you and little do you know, they're falling in love with it. <laughs> so the situation here is stay optimistic about your love life. So it's possible you could have been on your own little journey for a little while and not acting on much, could be dealing with a Cancerian here. You got uh, the chariot, but you, you may have gone on a little self-discovery, like an emotional journey. You may have been trying to figure out the deeper meaning in life, right? Maybe you were focusing on personal truths or thinking of leaving the rat race. Um, maybe you've been focused on work and career or concentrating on what you feel is important. But I feel that some of you just went on a journey of discovery. And maybe while you did that, you just weren't moving forward with love in your life. Okay? Um, some of you... Maybe you even felt a little bit wary, maybe you felt drained by demands or you were feeling tired or listless, lacking energy, especially because the chariot showing up in reverse, it's just not having that willpower. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe some of you just gave up on love and then before you know it, it's going to bite you in the bottom. <laughs> maybe that'll be the title of this reading sorry Pisces but Jaws is sneaking up behind you you're gonna get bit in the butt Cupid's biting you in the butt Jaws style but uh, <laughs> yeah and the advice here is children so I'm getting a sense maybe you have children maybe the person that you're thinking of or who you might meet may have children and maybe they just ended a cycle or ended a connection with somebody so they could be a single parent doesn't have to be this could also be just you after and maybe it's not just you maybe this person has been on a a, a journey as well who is also seeking deeper meanings to life and focusing on per personal truths and and as you were working on it and getting to know each other through this process of healing, maybe that's what it was, is healing the inner child, right? Healing the pains of the past. Maybe through this discovery journey, that's where all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, the past is now gone. I can leave it behind and I'm okay. I don't need to be afraid of abandonment. Maybe you felt abandoned when you were a child, but... Yeah, look at this. Dropping the guards. Seven of Wands, Pisces. So, if that was upright, it'd be fighting for your point, right? Like being aggressive or uh, asserting yourself or firing the first shot kind of thing. But I feel like after all that you've learned, this world card is very beautiful because it's about bringing together all of the pieces and starting to see how all things are woven together integrating if you will experiencing wholeness and achieving a dynamic balance but in doing that i think you're starting to realize that you can have the whole world at your feet and share it with somebody else okay it's like you don't have to fight the good fight anymore maybe you'll feel accomplished or I'm really getting a sense of you're going to start lowering your guard and start becoming involved right especially after this healing maybe you're going to share what you have or it was because you were giving of yourself maybe this is telling you that it's time now for you to become a parent it's time for you to show everything or maybe you are parenting someone in some way shape or form and what I mean by that is you're helping them go through whatever cycles they've gone through and through that love has been found so I see this achieving your heart's desire in terms of realizing your goals or being prosperous and flourishing right it's like 
you've gotten to a very good point. Maybe your children, maybe you have children and they've grown up and they've moved on now. Maybe that's what that means. But again, I love the fact that you're able to integrate the pieces from whatever journey you've been on here. And now you've got the seven of wands. So the whole not having a fixed position. So perhaps maybe if you had given up on love before in the past, you're starting to say, you know what? It is possible for me. It is. Maybe things didn't work out in the past with certain other people, but it wasn't meant to. But I love this water energy. There's a lot of emotion here. And I'm feeling a lot of kindness and gentle gentleness with each other. So I feel a mutual respect. And I feel like somebody really wants to put the work in in getting to know you because I feel like they want to offer you their cup of love. They want to really get closer to you. They, they, they have romantic feelings for you. And now that you're dropping your guard, I think this deception piece is maybe they haven't told you how they feel yet. And I also feel there's a bit of self-deception. Like you don't even realize that somebody's got something for you here. Because there's going to be a big shakeup to this this self-deception. Everything that you thought you know, <laughs> or everything that you thought you knew, <laughs> that's coming to the ground, my friends. Coming to the ground. And here's this page of cups. More water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, there are feelings here. Absolutely. But they haven't come out yet. But they are going to. They're definitely going to. This is like the pages bring messages, right? So perhaps, again, and what I'm seeing here is this tower energy. So perhaps you experienced some upheaval lately or you had plans disrupted. Maybe you were surprised, but I think that you're going to be surprised when you get this message. Uh, maybe you underwent a, a crisis, um, maybe you were in chaos, or maybe you were just releasing, right? Crashing through ego defenses, hence this seven of wands, the self-protection energy coming down. Maybe you felt humbled as of late, but it's also about having a revelation. And I think that that's what it is. Suddenly realizing the truth, exposing what's hidden. Having a burst of insight, right? Seeing through illusions. Getting the answer. And what's the answer? This beautiful page of cups energy. And what is that page of cups? Well, as we know, being a messenger, they are moved and they are touched by you. And they're going to let their feelings show. They're going to be sentimental and romantic. And they're going to let their heart lead their way. And, and I think that... Spirit's asking you to do that too. As if you were a child, go into this without any previous past pains. Be open by staying optimistic because this is here, this is coming in. And this is starting or even renewing a love affair or meeting someone that you're attracted to. So getting closer to somebody. So whoever this person is, this is this person. So free yourself, free yourself from the protections that you've had for so long. And through this discussion, I feel like you're gonna go beyond formalities, right? You're gonna have a special moment of togetherness. And I think it's through sharing something even personal, you know, maybe this is somebody who understands your pain because they've been through it too. Maybe you both have the same kind of upbringing but somebody's going to be very loving. They're going to make a very thoughtful gesture or they're going to express their sympathy and understanding just as you have. They're going to reach out and I feel like they're going to brighten your day. <laughs> like this is going to be a pleasant surprise. And I also think that this cloud of deception that comes down once you see the truth of what's happening here that you do deserve love and that it is on its way 
you're going to remember your dreams. You may even have a psychic experience or you'll trust your gut reaction. And I think that some of you are doing that at this point. You are trusting your gut reaction. And maybe that's why you're able to free yourself from whatever self-imposed prison that you put yourself into. And now, now that you're opening up to passion and a brand new passionate beginning here, especially with this Ace of Wands, this is exactly what you want, that fire and that emotion, right? And the Ace of Wands is expanding the potential and opening to greater possibilities, conceiving of a dream. And it's also about expressing yourself. So maybe as you free yourself and you express yourself more, that's where that enthusiasm starts. It's like you start feeling fired up and eager and excited, being ready to tackle the world, gaining optimism, having confidence, believing in yourself, feeling assured of your abilities and being sure of success and having high self-esteem. So you might be coming out of a cycle where maybe things just didn't feel like that, but now you're gonna be able to proceed with courage, right? And you're going beyond your limits. Absolutely. You've busted out of these swords. You've freed yourself from whatever negative thinking or limited thinking that held you back. And somebody is watching you transform here. And again, I just, I see this beautiful connection starting to form. You guys, like I really do. I feel like you faced your fears. And before you know it, you're going to go for it because this person is going to surprise you. They're going to surprise you with how they feel. And I think that this person really has a lot of respect for you. Okay? Oh my gosh. That's a beautiful reading. <laughs> it's just, you know, and I think maybe they even see beyond, maybe they saw that you had a rough upbringing. Some of you may have had a really rough upbringing. And because of that, you might have a few wounds there that needed to be healed but i feel like this person wants to be there and that's actually going to be what brings you together is the trauma bond or not trauma bond but it's like you both you both understand each other because you both walk the walk right so dearest you going the extra mile to achieve your dreams and putting in some overtime will reap big rewards now is the time for you to act yes and stir up some energy yes there it is the ace of wands and put those plans into action there are many windows of opportunity that open but close quickly when you don't take the risk and go for it today be confident that your hard work will pay off and you'll feel that satisfaction and fulfillment of reaching your desired outcome it might turn out even better than you expected isn't that amazing remember however much work you're willing to put in we will match it tenfold on our end. Everyone over here is rooting for you to win in the game of life. So just do it. Loving you so, so much. Oh my gosh. And I love that too. Because this card speaks to the hard work that you put in. In terms of always being so introspective. Right? Being introspective and being willing to be brave. To deal with your inner demons and your inner battles. And it's like all that hard work that you put into healing, completing cycles, integrating, integrating parts of yourself maybe that you used to reject, you used to push away. It's like now the love that you've shown yourself is being matched to you in the mirror of life, right? Because life is a reflection of our inner world. So now that you're starting to love yourself and be really good to yourself, you are attracting the exact same okay so how you treat yourself is what you're getting here that is amazing all right pisces sending you so much love and i hope you have an amazing rest of your day let me know who this person is <laughs> have a great one bye